FA. Um, no. No, it's just a random stock that happens to look, you know, it, no, it's not good, it's not good, it's not good. It's not a leader, you know, stick to the momentum leaders, it's just a shoppy random stock that happens to have found support on the rising 20. But it should have never lost the gap here, okay, this, this stock should be up here or here, not down here. BLDP, BLDP broke out yesterday, today it's minus 5 stars, yesterday it was 3.5 stars. VIX, yeah, VIX I'm watching, it looks good. I think VIX looks really good, it's building higher lows, relentlessly building higher lows and that's this tight range. Found support on the rising 50 day. I think it looks really good. Hopefully it breaks out tomorrow. I would like this thing to go sideways today. Pets, absolutely not. Pets it looks like shit. This is not absolutely not a good setup. It's below all the important moving, like, you know, like the 10 is sloping down, the 20 is sloping down, the 50 is sloping down. Like, it's not surfing. It should be surfing the 10, 20, or 50. Spotify looks good. Spotify found support on the rising 50, and now it's building higher lows here, and it has a range. Spotify looks like a very good setup. Hopefully, it breaks out tomorrow or the next few days. Alex? Uh, yeah, Kallax, someone mentioned it yesterday. The, guys, this is, wow, the, I mean, like, if I could trade this thing, uh, I can't. But, look, guys, this is like a, it's also an earnings winner. This thing had a huge, huge earnings. Big beat and everything. The, this is like, this is five star. Five plus. When this thing breaks out, it's going to go to like 30. It also had a good setup here. And also had a good setup here. But this is really good. Like if it breaks out tomorrow or the next few days, you know, that's good. Who mentioned uh, this one? Calex. Yeah, at Saibu, you're going to make m many millions over the next few years. Isaiah. Um, it's just a micro cap pump stock, but, you know, it is setting up. Uh, yeah, if it breaks out in the next few days. Like it had a pop, pulled back. Like it's a former runner, but it's more like if someone, you know, if it PRs or... If someone starts pumping it, like this thing has no natural order flow. Like there's two types of stocks, right? Like you have like these micro caps and nano caps and like this generally these sub five dollar stocks, something like Isia. Like they these things, you know, they go when they're getting pumped. Like there's no funds or institutions buying these things, right? This is all retail. Well, something like, I don't know, Shopify, like th this is like funds buying every dip. This thing dips, like this thing has a reason to go up. Like this, this thing is not getting pumped on Twitter. Like it's too big to get pumped. Like every time it dips, institutions start, you know, uh, 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 accumulating it. That's why you get these higher lows. Something like, uh, you know, Twitter, right? It's just surfing, building higher lows means you know it's getting accumulated but something like Isaiah like it's it's just you know it needs to get some now someone needs to start pumping this thing there, there are no funds sitting there and accumulating on dips it's all retail so you you know like if you get a setup you get a setup but you have to understand there's pretty much two different types of stocks and then there are stocks that are you know a combination but I generally prefer these types of stocks where institutions, like something like Peloton, like like you, you can clearly see, this is the footprint the institutions leave, right? Every time the stock pulls back, you know, it starts building higher lows because there's so many buyers in this thing. They just don't let the stock to go down. RKT, yeah, it's a recent IPO. Yeah, I actually had it on my watch list today, but... Um, you know, maybe maybe if it breaks, yeah, you know, it's starting to build higher lows. Uh, like new IPOs, you have to trade a bit differently, but um, yeah. So you, yeah, it's breaking out today. Yeah, it looks good. It, yeah, this is a good setup. I like it. So you is good. I actually had it on my watch list too, but it's just too thin for me to trade. Yep, UAVS. It's one of these pump stocks, but um, yeah, it looks good. It does look good. This is very headline driven and you know they are uh, rumored to have some contract with uh, Amazon and uh, I actually traded it back here from like 60 cents to 5 bucks or something. 
on the stream. That was pretty intense. But yeah, this yeah, it, lo it looks good. There are buyers coming in. Like, there's no funds accumulating it, but there are like retail, you know, just all type of traders. You know, there are people. People are buying up this thing. It's getting tighter. Absolutely, it's a good setup. Very good setup. I am UX. Uh, um, uh, nah, I don't know. Maybe a few, a few more days. Yeah, contract any day now? Yeah, where have you heard that before? <laughs> when do I prefer, uh, when do I enter? Well, as soon as it starts breaking out of this range. Well, as soon as it starts taking out this range, that's when you enter. You know, if it starts breaking the 2150, 2160, that's when you enter. Or if it gaps up a little bit, like above this range, then you wait for the opening range highs. And you can use the one minute, you can use the five minute, you may be in the 60 minute. It's like when I bought Livongo, Livongo here, back here, right? It looked like a really, this was like a six star setup on a five star scale, right? I bought it, it, it failed, I got stopped out, but then it reset, kept building higher lows, kept building a better base. And here again, failed breakout. I don't remember if I bought it here, it wasn't as good of a setup. And then you know, kept building higher lows, and then then you got this real breakout after you know it had gotten tighter and tighter. You know, like it makes no sense putting this thing on a blacklist after a couple of fade breakouts. This setup just got stronger. The stock doesn't care that you got frustrated with it. Yeah, SDNE is going. It looks like a pretty decent setup. Yeah, looks like, looks pretty good. Yeah, Nee, someone mentioned it yesterday. That was a good setup. It was, you know, lower ADR, but, you know, again, you know, s stick to the stocks that have at least five or six in ADR. BE, this is really working. Popped, like we bought it, it went straight up, pulled back a little bit, found support on the rising 65 EMA on the 60 minute chart and a 10 day moving average on the daily chart. And now it's having another leg higher. This is how stocks move. They pop, pull back, go sideways, have another leg higher, pull back, go sideways. That's just normal action. The ZC is starting to look intriguing. I really like the tightness. Wow, this thing is so tight. And it's also one of these relentless stocks. It's just, it's up over 300% from the lows, March lows, and it just can't pull back. It's just unable to pull back. Yeah, Redfin tried to break out yesterday, right? Yeah, Redfin, you know, had a failed breakout, okay? It tried to break out, pull back into range, and still building higher lows. The setup is intact. Like, if it tries to break out over the next few days, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, it's a good setup. If anything, the setup is stronger. It's a bit too thin for me, but, you know, that's what you have to look for. But this Amazon, it, if it was a little bit faster, I would have bought it. But the ADR is only 2.6. But this is what a five-star setup looks like. This is a high tide flag. This is what it looks like. Memorize this. If you, you know, the, you could just trade one setup, and it would be the high tide flag. You're gonna make so f much money. You don't even know what to do with it. XLNX. Uh, what's the ADR on this thing? What's the ADR on XLNX? It's a very choppy stock and with a low ADR. Netflix also has a good set setup. Facebook has a good setup. Uh, but these things are obviously very, very slow names, so you know, you know none of you should trade them. But uh, you know, but you should be able to identify those setups. CRSB? No, nah, it's not a broken setup. It's intact. It's building higher lows. How? Why would it be a break broken setup? It looks good. In a couple of days, you know, if it breaks out, it's gonna be great. 50 days starting to catch up. Things that are, that only need a few more days to have good setups. Like Ch uh, Qdel, big momentum stock, good earnings to uh, found support on the 50 day, and now it's surfing the 50 day. In a couple of days, if you can go sideways here, build more higher lows, could be a very good setup. Twitter, this is like a four star setup, four and a half star setup. Slower name, but still good for me. Pinterest, ah, it's kind of failing now. But if it if it doesn't like fail and you know sets up, you know it could be a good setup coming days. Yes, maybe if it can keep going sideways a bit more. It's again a kind of, uh, uh, shoppy stock, so actually no, never mind. 
lastly, it's still building higher lows uh, at around the 50 day, you know, maybe, maybe in a few days. Viva, maybe in a couple of days. It's getting tighter and tighter. Spotify, this one is also getting tighter and tighter, building higher lows of the 50 day here. Net, also building higher lows. Maybe in a few days if it tightens up a bit. Etsy, uh, yeah, also in a few days. It's a little bit more sideways in my opinion. Maybe this one too, it's kind of building higher lows and has a range here. Shoei, it's starting to set up. Uh, this W, this is, um, I'm long this thing. Um, but again, this thing is it's building another flag. Maybe later this week there could be a setup on it. AMD could be a setup in later this week. If it keeps going sideways and the 20 day can catch up. Yes, building a potential high tide flag if we can go sideways a bit more. <coughs> Twilio looks pretty decent. HCMP can go sideways a bit more. <coughs> Shopify is building higher lows. TSM is a really good setup. It's a very slow stock, but you know this is like a five star setup. I'm not trading it. It's it's kind you know it's it looks good, but I'm in a bunch of other stuff already. Square. I guess, you know, I I don't know, like, is it gonna have follow through? Like, I would have preferred a bit more sideways. 512, you bought it 512? That's great, That that's a great entry, you, 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 you were awake, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, let's see, but the lack of volume since the first 15 minutes, look, these thin stocks, like this is the problem with these thin stocks, some, some, some chat room or guy or Twitter pumps this thing, then a b bunch of degenerates buy it, right, that's what creates the volume, um, and you know, th this is why I only, you know, want you guys to have like a 5, at least a 5, but preferably like a 10 million dollar cutoff on your, on your uh, scans. Like the setup is very good. It, it's it's a really good setup. It's a five star setup. But realize this volume here is just because someone pumped it, probably, right? Uh, but it doesn't matter. Like you know, this is a thin stock generally. It only trades like like a hundred thousand shares on average. That's why the lack of volume. Like the, you know. But it's not concerning. It's it's normal for this stock because. You know, it is a thin stock. It's always very liquid and thin. Lack of volume. DWH is a good setup too. Yeah. Oh, it's breaking out. Yeah, it's a good setup. So who? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. If a 20 day catches up, you know, maybe in a couple of days, could be a good setup. KC. Could work. Like, it's been building higher lows, but I don't know. It, it feels kind of shoppy. It's a recent IPO though. You know, these things can be pretty powerful um i mean i don't it may be set up like maybe i don't know it's all it's already up quite a bit um i don't think it was a very clean setup i usually try to uh, trade like clean setups some some you know they're just too too tough sdne yeah yeah it's setting up it's setting up uh, like this thing had a really good breakout here. This is like a five star, uh, or maybe you know, like four and a half star breakout. Uh, and then it, you know, it's setting up again. You know, in a couple of days, like if it can go sideways here, so the twenty day can catch up. Yeah, it looks good. LL. Wow. Okay. Sure. Yeah. If you got it early, like if you got it sub twenty four. Or preferably, you know, like in the mid 23s. Uh, it's not a buy here, but yeah, it's a it's a pretty decent looking one. It had an even better setup back here. When it broke out here. And this is this is the key thing with the good setups. They keep surfing these 10, 20 day moving averages. Sometimes they have higher lows. Sometimes they don't. Like in this case, it didn't have higher lows. It was in like kind of a channel. Uh, but many times what I look for is higher lows and they getting tighter and tighter like this is this is how you know this is how stocks move they move in they look like they it looked like a stair right you have a step higher sideways 
Step higher sideways, step higher sideways, step higher sideways, step higher sideways. And your job is to anticipate, or not actually not anticipate, your job is to buy at the exact moment when the next stair, step higher is forming. And this is why you need to study thousands of stocks over, over going back decades. You know, the stocks move the same way as today as they did 100 years ago. You just need to learn the patterns. Spotify is setting up. It made a big, big move. Surfed the 10 and 20 day, pulled back, went sideways, and now it's building, it's surfing the 50 day. It's a slow, it's slower start, but like this is the type of setup I'm looking for all the time, and it's getting tighter and tighter. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of an SHLL. It's the same sector. Whoa, wait, what? They're the same sector? Yeah, EV sector. You know what? It could work, like, hope, yeah, you know, it could be a decent setup, but it needs to start taking out that mid-high uh, 12 area, mid-12 area. Needs to get, yeah, yeah, it could be good. I really like it. It's surfing the 50-day made a huge move, pulled back, and now it had an, it had an orderly pullback to the ri rising 50-day. It's ex similar to SHLL, made a huge move, pulled back. This one, you know, it did kind of pull back to the 50-day, but it was kind of surfing above the 50-day. Built higher lows, put in a tight range, and now it's breaking out. SPAC looks a little bit similar. So, yeah, it, it could be good. Could be good. But it's too late to buy it now, probably. Like, if you, it, it's at 123. Lows of the day is at, what, 16? Let's just say 117. That's 6. Or, well, I guess you could buy it now. The average uh, true range is 10.5. Uh, but, you know, you gotta be you gotta be early on these things. Like, you know, you gotta buy it, you know, you know, early. The correct entry would have been like 118, 119, 120, not here. Like T dot, like I was ready on it, right? I had it in my watch list. My entry is uh, 194.36. So it's, you know... I, I got in fairly early. I could have gotten in a couple of bucks earlier. I was a bit slow, but you know, I'm not buying it like 197. And the Vongo, you know, you shouldn't buy it here. You should have bought it somewhere here, like 118, 120 area. You gotta be on these things, guys. You know, you gotta be early. You, you, you know, you can't come, you know, two hours later. And you know, if you want a good risk reward, you gotta be early on good setups. Like BE2, I, I had it on my watch list. I was early on it, right? As soon as I saw it started breaking this range, you know, on the daily chart, started breaking this 1340, 1350 arrow, you know, I bought it. 1361 is my average. Gotta be early. You see a good setup. You gotta be, you know, you gotta buy it as soon as it starts breaking. Some setups are a little bit like tricky. So some, I kind of hesitate a lot of times. Uh, I, I want them to prove themselves, but some 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 stocks I just buy. Like as soon as they break, I buy them. I don't I don't second guess. I don't think. I just buy them. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But you know, those are the names usually that make big moves. Pinterest is setting up. Maybe as soon as tomorrow, there may be a setup in it. Like if it puts in a tight range date, a close. Uh, day to day like if it doesn't go any low higher today there could be a, like a three and a half stars four star setup on it for tomorrow but ideally it goes sideways for another three to five days that would be ideal so the 20 day can catch up and then breaks out you get in chumia yeah chumia i've had for a few weeks i, I bought it here on this day here it wasn't like a super clean setup but you know this is what i saw this is what i saw i just saw this ascending triangle right then you know it was a little bit it wasn't like a five star setup but uh so in the 60 minute i, I bought it here what's my average 40 42 so right here 40 42 this is where i bought and again you know you see this higher lows and a break break of a range and preferably you get uh, you get uh, some uh, tightness before that breakout. Now, exception is this SI, which had a very white candle, candles uh, that yesterday and the day before, but the range was still kind of very clean. It's, you can cl clearly still see the trend, overall trend, and it shows it's showing relative strength to Bitcoin itself. 
it undercut the 20 and reclaimed immediately while bitcoin itself is like i mean it's still you know it's still below the 20 below the 10 it's still in a pullback so it's showing some big relative strength so you know i made an exception just because it's showing a relative strength yeah and volume too but i didn't see that that i that it had abnormally high volume when i bought it i didn't realize it then now it's obvious but back when i bought it it only had traded I don't know, a few hundred thousand shares, maybe. Oh, wow, Chagex, what's this? Looks interesting. Not, not that great on the daily. It had a very white candle yesterday, but on 60, it looks pretty interesting. How, oh, it's a very thin name. Uh, yeah, okay. If it doesn't go today, maybe it could be something for next week. All these micro nano caps are, like, it has 235 million market cap now, but, like, just two months ago, it was, it had a probably less than a 20 million market cap so it's not hard to move these things but the share volume on some of these days is pretty insane i l i i l i k f it's an otc right yeah i hate otc tickers <laughs> they're so hard to spell uh i don't like it it's it needs the 10 and 20 they need to catch up it did have a potential setup like three four days ago but yeah it's uh it's not really oh man if tesla loses the 65 ema <laughs> Things could get interesting. But on the other hand, you know, the 20 days not far away could very easily find support there and then going. But it's it's unfortunate if it doesn't. I really want a Tesla to go over a thousand, but yeah. If it gives us a short setup, I gotta trade it. Have I seen Microsoft? What's Microsoft do? Yeah, oh wow. Yeah, a lot of these mega cap names. Oh, wow, Microsoft, look at how great it looks on the weekly. Oh my god, look at how clean it is. Higher lows for like past six, seven months. It's been surfing the 20, undercut it, reclaimed, undercut it, made a higher low, reclaimed. It's just been like, you know, these these types of um, like patterns or whatever you're going to say. Let's just say it's it's like a it's like a map over the supply and demand. I don't like to use the word short because it's like I, I, I think most like uh, shortists are, you know, they are not really smart but so it's it's like a map over the supply and demand of a stock and that's our job our job is to read the supply and demand and trade in the direction of where the money is going that's our job our job is to read the map correctly navigate the terrain correctly that's our job as traders yeah i saw that nnox yesterday it woke up with big big volume like it traded almost 10 times uh, average uh, average volume. And yeah, it, it looked good. It was a good looking flag. I didn't uh, have it on my watch list because it's too thin for me, but it looked good. Had a big move, pulled back, consolidated, got tighter, started building higher lows, surfing the 50 day, and then broke this range. Really good setup. And then the, um, oh, don't tell me this is up 50% from where it broke out. Oh yeah, it is nearing 50% from where it broke out. Oh my God. I need to step up my game. This was a, a perfect, or no, almost a perfect high tide flag breakout. Look at in the 60 minute. It's beautiful. Now it's up 45% since. You bought the NNDM? Yeah, good job if you did. That was a good setup. Man, oh man, these fuel cell stocks, they look amazing. BLDP, F cell, these things are high tide flagging. Holy shit. And plug also. Man, they look. I hope they can tighten up and then maybe go early next week. Yeah, this overstock, there is something to it. I think uh, if T0, like, uh, I wonder if this overstock, like, this overstock is one of the few crypto names that hasn't gone yet. Like, this thing can really run if it wants to. Look at the move it made earlier last year. It went up 5,000% from March lows. Wait, what? Oh, holy shit, that's insane. Now it's been basing for a long, long time. GME looks like this. Th this thing looks like it wants to go to 60 or something. It looks incredible. Look at how it's been building higher lows. This EH looks interesting too for a potential short today. It's now up three days in a row. This gap down is very unfortunate. It would have been better if it didn't gap down. This MSDR is incredibly strong. This MSDR is so much stronger than Bitcoin itself. This thing barely got, uh, got below the 10 day. While uh, Bitcoin dipped to to the 50. L uh, sorry, CCIV reminds me of 
XPEV uh, a few months ago, or XPEV, yeah, a few months ago. This is exactly what uh, the CCIV looks like. CCIV is like here. Now I'm not saying it's gonna make a move like XPEV, but you know, it, it looks, it's a, it's a uh, tight, uh, high tight flag on the 60 minute, very short on the daily, but this, High momentum names, they can have uh, really, really short flags. GBTC is starting to set up for next week. Like, I'm long, uh, uh, let's see, 57 and half thousand shares of this thing. Uh, but if we get another three to five days of sideways and the 20 day catches up, we get a breakout. I'm, I'm, I'll buy more, I'll double up. I'm, I'm gonna double up. This thing, I'm, you know, Bitcoin keeps going. This thing is gonna go to 20, 30 bucks. I only got in a third side yes yesterday. I, I bought 1300 shares and now it's going straight up and yeah What messed up this trade was that it had two these these two weekdays coming into the announcement It would have been much better if they had announced it two or three days ago because then we would have gotten a clean break of this 15 20 range and then I would have bought you know I would be in three four thousand shares of this thing now, you know, I had to chase it a little bit and only buy a third size. TSM is a really good setup. It's a very slow stock, but you know, this is like a five star setup. I'm not trading it. It's, it's kind of, you know, it's, it looks good, but I'm in a bunch of other stuff already. Where this thing uh, could, you know, it's, it's getting tight, uh, but there's no setup. Like here, here there was a five star setup on it. I don't know why I didn't trade it because you know I was long a bunch of other stuff, but right here, five star setup. BVXV, no. BVXV had a really, really good five star setup. Two five star setups. This is shit. Right now it's shit. But this is this is this is what a good setup looks like. This is a five star setup. Memorize this. Put it in your chart database. And another one here. Continuation breakout. Boom. Those are five star setups. This there's nothing here right now. What's my thesis on IGC? IGC is just a it's just a random pump. Like Robin Hooders are chasing this thing. No reason to be in you know. There's there's no reason for this thing to go up 600% on this news. They're just initiating. They got an FDA approval to initiate a cannabinoid study. Like that study is probably gonna burn tens of millions, maybe even hundreds of millions. It's gonna take many years. Like, if anything, the stock should be going down on it, and they are probably doing an offering soon. You know, you have to when the liquidity is there. You have to. Uh, but you know, technically, this thing is up. You know, a lot, two days in a row. Like, I never short on day one, but you on day two, day three. That's usually when stocks, you know, can fade hard. But it's not a high conviction setup. Like, it would be better if it goes closes strong today and goes to seven, eight bucks tomorrow that would be a high conviction trade but today i'm just doing tiny tiny size i'm literally doing like fifth size or seventh size or something like really tiny size no conviction at all mostly get my gambling urge out of the way or my trading urge oh it's absolutely not a great oh my god this is absolutely not this is really bad uh it's look at how choppy this thing there's no trend on it like look at the moving averages they're all over the place it's a horrible, 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 horrible stock. This is the kind of type of stock you want to see. When the moving averages are trending higher, right? And, and the stock makes a clean moves, right? That's the type of stock you want to be in. Like a stock that's like orderly, right? It keeps doing these orderly moves. But something like this, like look at I get a headache just by looking at the chart. Yeah, this W, yeah, it looks like it's working on another high tight flag. I, I, this thing is just unbelievable. I mean, I don't know what the hell is going on. This, it's up 1100% since the March lows. And it, it, they just can't dip it. This was like three days ago when the markets dipped. This thing was like the strongest stock out there. And now it's building a new range. I, it's unbelievable. Maybe this thing goes to 500. <laughs> For the summer is over. It, yeah, it's crazy. Relentless. Absolutely relentless. And look, maybe later next week, hopefully we get a nice setup. I will add. I still, I'm still long, uh, like a quarter size uh, from the breakout here. I'm still long 2,500 shares. But hey, I'll buy 10,000 shares if you get a good setup. I'll buy another 10k shares. 
Google breaking out. Look at this. Google has been surfing the 50 day. Now this is obviously a ultra uh, slow stop, but it's a good sign for the overall markets that we have these mega caps, you know, trying to break out like Amazon. What's Facebook doing? Yeah, Google, Amazon. ELDR, no, it's not a good setup. It's been going sideways too long. Like it's, it's been below the 50 day for too long. Now it needs some kind of news or something to, you know, it needs to break out the news. This SHLL looks intriguing. It's a very thin stock, but it's been relentlessly building higher lows. And look at how tight this thing is between the 20 and 10 day. And now it's breaking out of this range. Like this could be a really good setup. I like just how relentlessly it's been building higher lows above the 50 day. It's just super tight. Someone mentioned SVM uh, earlier. Uh, this thing looks really good. This this is a five. Oh wow, this is a really good sh setup. Especially if it can't bounce, uh, break out today. If it breaks out like tomorrow or ne like early next week, this is a potential. Like right now, it's maybe a four star. But if it goes sideways just one more day, puts in a tight range. This is a really good setup. Look at how linear and clean it is. It's been surfing the 20 day and now it's been in a tight range building higher lows while silver has been pulling back silver had a sharp pullback and this thing has been building higher lows i really like this one it's a very thin stock uh, so I, there's no way i'm gonna ever trade it but i bought 11,000 shares of t doc this thing tends to pull back to 50, 100 day moving average and then bounce. This is not a great breakout stock, it's more of a pullback stock. I bought some INO yesterday, late day, or not late day, midday. It was really, really tight. I bought it somewhere like low 13s, very low 13s. Bounced off the rising 150 day. You know, this thing went down, what, 40% in three days? Uh, it's just a. Uh, reverse mean version like reverse mean version short just a variation one of my main setups Ely is another one nah it's not that great we won't go to like a lot of these setups that undercut their rising 20 and 50 days they're now building higher lows and you know we'll see like a lot of them they all look pretty much the same t doc this one is on the 100 day it's a bit slower uh, actually, I'm taking this one off because T Doc and Livongo trade the same. Coupa on the 50 day. Twitter is surfing the 20 day. I think it's this one could be good. PDD is not really tight. CRSP, I mean, it looks okay. Not that great. I'm watching Overstock for a, to add to my existing short. If it loses the SAD high 87 area today, this thing has another 20 30% of clean downside. BNTX may bounce off the 50 day also. A lot of them are like similar. We'll see, I'm not super excited about any of those for now. Lastly, you know, this thing is kind of starting to bounce off the 50 day, building higher lows. Um, it's not really a clean setup, but it, it could work. It could work. Or, you know, yeah, it depends. We'll see. Domo. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yesterday may, maybe, it's not really a clean one, like it had a good setup here, you know, he, here it had a decent setup, here it had a good setup, here, you know, but this, you know, nah, I don't know, not really. Yep, whoever mentioned Tiger is a Tiger King, absolutely. Someone mentioned it in the like 580s yesterday, that was a good call. I don't remember what I said about the setup. I thought, I think I said it was okay, but I wasn't like super excited about it. I went straight up. Did I say three and a half star? No, I didn't. I must have said at least four stars. Come on. ADR? No, it looks like shit. And it's low ADR. Like th there was a maybe setup here on this day, but today it looks like shit. It's wide and loose. Nothing like a good setup. WK? Uh, yeah. This, yeah, it looks like a good setup, but um, it, it's a very liquid stock. Yeah, you shouldn't probably you, you shouldn't get these types of liquid stocks in your scans. You know, adjust it to your scans at least five ten million in dollar volume. I think this is gonna be a five star setup 
on, on Monday. Five star short setup. Because now it's been bouncing two days and tomorrow uh, on, on Monday, if we get a gap up, this thing could reverse hard. It, it reminds me about Tesla uh, back in March. Very similar to Tesla back in March. One of the biggest momentum stocks and it broke down, bounced off the 50 day moving average, bounced for two days and the third day had a big gap up and a big reversal. This one we traded on stream and then look at what it did. Now obviously, you know, the market sell off helped. It went down like 55% from that day. Uh, but you know, it looks, NVAX looks exactly the same. The biggest momentum stock in the markets breaks down as a sharp move lower, kind of bounces off the 50. It didn't really get to the 50, uh, but now it's, you know, on day two of the bounce. And on Monday, it's going to be day three of the bounce. And you know, this thing could very easily reverse back 15, 20% in a few days. So that, that's something I'm gonna be watching closely. MRNA would be what? Because it's not extended to the downside. It needs to be straight down. Like this is the type of setup you look for. Something that's down 50, 70% in a few days or a few weeks. This is something. And then it pulls back one of the key moving averages. Like right here, that's that's a good bounce setup. It's a reverse parabolic short. That's a par parabolic long. This JD, uh, this thing is a, it's a lower ADR stock, but it's it's one of the China leading stocks. They report on Monday, and if if it can gap up over this 60, this mid 63 area on earnings, and if they, you know if they have a good beat and everything. Um, like the numbers right now are not really exciting because of you know the corona situation so it's a temporary slowdown but but this is this is one of the leading stocks in china and uh yeah i'll be buying it i'm gonna take an enormous position on a good setup it's a reverse uh, parabolic short it's a parabolic long when you have a momentum stock like an extreme momentum stock that pulls back, has a big pullback, and then it bounces off the, this, usually these key moving averages. And then you wait for a tight setup. Like uh, Nikola did it. Uh, Nikola's a tricky one because it gapped up big. Uh, it bounced off the 50, then it gapped up big. But it's the pr same principle. Tesla did it back in March lows. Like Tesla bounced perfectly off the 200 day, big momentum stock, but a big pullback and bounced perfectly off the 200 day moving average. And then it, you know, gained new life on its own, but you know, these are specific setups I trade. EGFV, uh, no, not yet. I, I think it needs a few more days. Match, that's a low ADR stock. No, actually it's not. Oh, well, it's sub five, but yeah, it's not, it's not really, like these larger cap names, you know, they usually need more time to set up. This EQT is uh, like if it had one more day of sideways, would have been a great setup. Now it's like, nah. By the way, I, I noticed something uh, like a couple of hours ago. Like I, I passed on a breakout in NIO. Like I passed on this breakout. Like look how strong this thing. Like li higher lows all the way, surfing the 10 day. Then it started surfing the 20 day and then it broke out. I realized it looked exactly the same as the SRN knee breakout I, I traded uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago. It's it, exactly the same. They, they almost look identical. This is where I, this is the breakout they bought. You know, I made a big move, was surfing the 10 day, then we was surfing the 20 day and was just building higher lows and went sideways for three, four days and broke out. And then it doubled, more than doubled in a, like two weeks. And NIO, the same thing. It doubled in a couple of weeks. You know, if you know, you gotta learn these patterns. They they just they 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 uh, happen over and over again. Carve, uh, no carve is no, no absolutely not. Not a momentum leader. Uh, a crowd strike. Um, Nah, nah, it's no, it's not, no, it's not a good setup. It's just inside of a range. You know, any, any, you know, whatever type of episodic pivot it is, 
you know, you want to buy the ones that are coming out of like long sideways or some type of weakness, like <laughs> something like FTCH, like this thing is straight up 300% into this report, right? So even, you know, they beat earnings and, you know, uh, beat revenue, all of that stuff, you know, th there's the fail rate is a bit higher versus like some of the earnings gappers we bought this year, like uh, Maily. Okay, good example. Look at this thing. We bought it here. The stock had been going pretty much sideways for, for a year, right? Uh, fastly, we bought it here. The stock had never made a run. Also, it had been go going sideways for pretty much a year. And then look at what it did, right? Uh, what are the more? Uh, Shang we bought also. It had been going sideways for a long, long time. Over a year. DXCM is one we bought. Um, I bought it on stream uh, like uh, seven months ago or something uh, here. <clears throat> Again, you know, it had been going sideways for a long time. It's, you know, and then you have something like FTCH, you know, what are the odds of this thing making a big move from here? Like it could, obviously. So far it's acting perfectly. Uh, but, you know, is it gonna double in the next couple of months? Again, it could, but you know, you you want the best odds. Yeah, this is a very good setup. This is a very good setup. I, you know, if it starts breaking this range with volume, you know, this this is the kind of stock that could move. Look at this. ADR is twenty four percent. This is the kind of stock that can go up twenty, thirty, forty percent in a day. Absolutely. But that's not an institutional uh, type of stock, you know, someone, you know, they need to PR or, you know, they, they need to get a pump to get moving. Potatoes? No, it's not a momentum leader. Or, or you know what, it actually looks pretty decent. You know what, it, it looks pretty okay. It looks okay. It's not really like a momentum leader, but, you know, the setup looks pretty decent. It's a very, like, early stage move. You know what, I kind of like Kados. It's, it's, it's okay. BCC? Uh, no, not a good setup. And also, ADR is 3.5. This thing shouldn't be in your scans. Is it a good buy setup? Well, that's another question. Um, it is kind of extended. Not really my type. Like, down here, this was like a good setup. Like, it came out of a nice base. Uh, had been building higher lows. Bounced off the, uh, perfectly off the 20 day, rising 20 day, reported earnings and you know, kept going higher, but now it's already kind of extended. Can it go to 35? Sure, but I don't know. Vimy? Uh, nah, I don't know. It looks like a very broken stock. I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. I bought some DraftKings yesterday. Um, I took out this, like it looked, you know, bounced off the rising 20 uh, on the weekly chart. It's building higher lows for the past few months and, you know, then they had earnings. It looks like it's gapping down a bit on those earnings. Uh, it's a smaller position. I knew the earnings were coming, um, so I only took like a half size on it, less than half size. You know, that, that you know, it's a gamble. It's a pure gamble. I, I thought the sector was going to do well. With the, you know, Penn is doing well. Like all of these gambling casino names, they're doing really well.